Good morning. Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. I thought I would pick up my camera today and vlog. We have a fun day ahead of us. I'm currently making brekkie. So we're having some eggs, some English muffins, and then I kind of have to hurry because I'm running right on time. I have a client coming around 10. Um, so I'm going to train her, and then I have an appointment afterward. Making some scrambled eggs. Alright, sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. This does not look the most aesthetically pleasing, but it will do the job, okay? So I have one English muffin with some grass-fed butter, some eggs with spinach, and then some berries. And then I also made Jack his portion, so just a lot more eggs. <laughs> and then some oatmeal, and I'm probably going to have a little bit of this too, just to make sure I get enough food in for my breakfast. I'm going to eat this and then get ready for Just quickly getting ready now. Like I said, I'm about to go try train a client for in-person training and then afterwards I'm actually heading to the girl that used to do my lash extensions. I'm going to go see her to go get a lash lift which I'm really excited for because I've done one before and I really really liked it and I'm also excited because now the last time I did it I didn't have as long of lashes but I've been using like I said in my last video, the Babe Lash Serum and my eyelashes be getting on, girl. So I'm very excited to see what they look like. Yesterday was such beautiful weather and we're here for it, you know? I wanted to kind of talk to you guys. So I did a Q&A on my Instagram story and I was going to do like the question or answer the questions in my last video. But then you guys know if you watch, I was sick like in between when I was recording and just kind of forgot. I believe what, a, what the question was, I don't remember what it was word for word but it had something to do with like how do i stay like consistent and positive and like in my routine and stuff it was just about like how do you always like stay consistent and all of that good stuff which honestly i get that question quite a lot some tips i have for that and things that i find that really help me with like my mindset and stuff is just realizing that everything in your life is based off of the way you view it and the way your mindset is around it. So you can make anything suck if you think about it like that, like you think negatively about it, like your job or like having to go to the gym, for example, um, since we're talking about that, like you can always think in your head, like, oh, I have to go work out, I have to like exert all this energy, blah, blah, blah. Or on the flip side, you can reframe the way you think about it and think like, oh my god like i'm so grateful i can move my body in this way and i have the opportunity to go work out and exercise because some people don't you can make anything in your life suck and be negative and something that you don't look forward to or on the flip side the good thing about it is you can do the opposite and think of everything as a blessing and you have the means to be able to do it so that's kind of how i think about it like i'm truly grateful that I can move my body and I know how good it makes me feel afterwards and it's just like super great for you know your mental health so you kind of have to think about that too just like I'm gonna feel so good afterwards so that's just my two cents on that topic um and that can apply to literally every aspect of your life obviously you're gonna have your bad days but just overall always having that in the back of your mind is just like thinking of everything in a positive light it truly is life-changing so that's my spiel on that. I think I had a few more questions that I wanted to answer, but I do need to go train my client. So my outfit is from Prozy. So this top is from there. And then these are just black leggings. And I honestly really like them. They're very, very comfortable. And off of my jab ring. I'm gonna go train my client now. Hello guys. So it's been a few hours since we last spoke in my bathroom. Um, I trained my client and then I went to Shanna to get my lashes lifted. Please look at them. I don't know if you can tell. Let's get close up. It looks like I have eyelash extensions on, but all I got was a lash lift and tint. So she made them a little darker, curled them, lifted them, all of that good stuff. And I'm literally obsessed with them. I think they look so good. She is so good at what she does. So if you guys are like in the local area, her business's name is Be A Babe. Yeah, it's located in Clemens. So if you're, lo if you're local, I highly recommend. She also does like brow laminations, eyelash extensions, all of that good stuff, derm planing. Highly recommend. So now I'm gonna head inside. I'm starving. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch and probably head to the gym. All right, so I just got ready for the gym and I'm having my pre-workout. 
I'm having the green apple candy flavor from 1UP. They taste like green Jolly Ranchers. Very good. Today I'm doing an upper body workout and I haven't decided if I'm doing chest and triceps or back and bias today or shoulders and back. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get down there. Here's the fit. Same thing I had on earlier. My hokas. Just let's go have a good workout. not the best but it is also 4 50 a.m bear with me okay that'll work anywho i'm about to go coach f45 if you guys could not tell by the outfit um i'm doing the first three classes this morning so i'll be there until 8 15 or so and then we'll head back home and i'll show you guys what i get into today let's go Hello besties. So it's been a little bit since I got off work this morning. I did the 5.30, 6.30 and then I was on standby for the 7.30 class. So standby just basically means if it's under a certain amount of people in the class, there only needs to be one trainer on deck. So I was on standby. There's only eight people in the class today. So I didn't have to do that one. So I came home, I took a little power nap. I always do that for the early classes because it's just, 3.50 is quite an early wake up call. So I always take a short little power nap when I get home. Um, so I did that, we had breakfast. Um, but now I'm about to go run some errands. Very random. <laughs> I have to go take these back to Whole Foods. So these are like um, A2A all natural milk. It's home from Homestead Creamery. And if you return the glass containers they come in, you get money back and it's like recycling all that good stuff and then also i have to take my nespresso pods that we have used to the ups store because also if you have a nespresso machine you can recycle them so i'm gonna go do that and probably on the agenda for the rest of today i still have to go work myself out i have a client coming later tonight um to train her yeah that's what's going on today we do pretty much the same thing every day but we are here for it and we love it we love routine consistency because it's good for the mental health you like to go too All right, so I'm home now from running errands and I wanted to talk to you guys because recently, I've talked about this a little bit, my face has been breaking out for quite a while now, um, mainly down here, pretty much hormonal, I'm guessing, or diet. Um, so I'm going to try cutting out dairy for like a week or two just to see if that helps. If you guys have been following me for quite a while, um, I was dairy and gluten free for a really long period of time. I don't know if introducing dairy back in, we've been having dairy pretty regularly for probably the past half of a year, year now. Um, and might be why my skin's acting up. It's on my back too. And it's really frustrating and I don't like it. Ah, so I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes so i found this milk to use for my lattes and coffee and stuff here at home this is by forager project it doesn't contain any gums or any other ingredients literally other than filtered water gluten-free oats sea salt and it's organic all the nasty stuff that i try to avoid is not in here and then i also got a little bit of this sweet and creamy coconut creamer a little update for you guys i'm really sad because i'm a big cheese girl. I love cheese. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah.
Also, I want to show you guys, I went into Sephora. Jack's mom's birthday was yesterday, but we're celebrating tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys what I got her, what we got her together. It's the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Travel size of the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Um, Daisy Love perfume. It smells really good. And then we're probably also going to get her some flowers. But it's Thursday today, and we're not going to see her until Saturday for like a lunch, dinner type thing. Yeah. Now I'm about to go down to the gym. I need to work out. I'm procrastinating. Let me go to the gym now. Alright, so I thought we would end the vlog here. I am back on my YouTube grind, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss my weekly uploads. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, just so I know to make more videos like this in the future. Also, big thank you to you guys for supporting my channels lately. We just hit 14.5k on my Instagram, so if you aren't following me there already, make sure you go check me out. And yeah, that is all for today's video. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.